Hello and welcome to painotopia.com. My name is Jan Lingen and I would like to ask you a couple of questions. Do you find it painful to rotate your head? Do you find it painful um, to just sit in front of the computer and to slightly glance to one or the other side? So, in other words, do you suffer from a stiff neck? If so, then I recommend sticking with me in this video for the next minutes because I will show you some very valuable things how you can relieve your stiff neck yourself. Yes, you heard right. I want to show you how to relieve your stiff neck yourself and I will tell you now why that is possible. Because a stiff neck is very often created or initiated by tight muscles and trigger points in the area of your cervical spine in the muscles of your neck. And what you might not know is that you can massage those muscles and treat the trigger points yourself with a self-massage, with a myofascial self-release. And I will walk you now step by step through the self-massage of those particular muscles. We will inspect the area of the back of the neck, of the side of the neck, and we will use our hands for massage and we will use the trigger fairy for massage. So, um, yeah, I would suggest that was enough of my explaining and I'm talking. Let's start walking a little bit and see what we can do to get your neck out of pain. I would suggest to start with the area of the back of your neck. So I said we will use the trigger fairy and we will do so. Just take the bow of the fairy in one hand and the handle of the fairy in the other hand. Then turn around or I turn around, basically you don't have to turn around, I'm sorry for that. And place the head of the trigger fairy here in the area where the base of your skull is transitioning into the soft tissue where the muscles start. You place the trigger fairy or the head of the fairy in this area and then exert with your hand a little bit of pressure on the muscle and then you slowly slide over this area. For all the people of you that are quite interested in what muscles we are massaging here, just check out my website, painotopia.com. The muscles that um, run in this area are the spleeny muscles. Okay, enough for that. Um, now I want to concentrate again on this shelf massage. So I'm searching for tender points and as soon as I encounter a tender point, I will concentrate on this one, stay in this area and massage it only from right before after the tender spot. And in this manner, I will proceed the whole, um, I proceed with, with the whole area of the back of my neck and I will pressurize the muscles with um, pressure from the back, pressure from behind, like this. And I will go all the way down my cervical spine and do that and concentrate on every tender um, point that I find. Once we are done with that, we will uh, move on a little bit more to the side and uh, massage the muscles at the side of your neck, where especially your levator scapula is quite important because it is also very often involved in a stiff neck. Um, the only um, important thing that I want to point out here, it might not be obvious maybe, is that you don't hold the trigger fairy in front of your face, but it will point, the handle will point to the side. And um, the area you are going to massage <clears throat> is from right behind your ear all the way down your cervical spine again. I hope you can see that uh, until here. This is the area we are going to massage. And you want to experiment with the um, you want to experiment with the massage um, placement of the tool a little bit. You place a little bit behind, you place it here in the middle of the neck, then you place it a little bit more on the front and just make sure to cover that whole um, um, area, that whole lateral area of your neck. That's the only important thing. And um, I will show you how that uh, would look like. So I pressurize the muscles, I slowly um, stroke over them with very precise and slow massage strokes. And this way search for tender points in the muscle. And as soon as I encounter it, as um, before, I will concentrate on this particular point and massage it with a couple of massage strokes. Okay, I want to um, give you one tip. I know this video gets a little bit long, but please stick with me. I have 
this is a super detailed description of the self-massage, what those details will make the difference, believe me. So what I want to tell you right now is that your neck is a very sensitive area and that I recommend paying a little bit attention, especially in the beginning when massaging it, because a couple of muscles here are basically actually all the muscles contain receptors that are responsible for orientation in space and if you massage them too hard in the very beginning you might end up with some dizziness and nausea in the next couple of days which is not very pleasant. You won't run into this problem if you don't um, um, overdo it in the beginning and just watch your body's reactions over the couple of next hours or even the next day. Okay, enough for that. I mentioned that you won't have any issues here if you start all conservatively and slow. So let's go on with the massage. I showed you the precise massage strokes and I want to show you another technique which works wonders in this area. Please, wonders. It's awesome. And this technique is called the press and move technique. We will press into the muscle. We use exactly the same area as we again use the trigger fairy. Um, but we then make our head move and this way we will communicate with our nervous system and tell it to let go of excessive muscle tension. And um, I want to demonstrate it. I place the trigger fairy again on the muscles, on the ones I want to massage. And then um, instead of sliding over the muscle, I just start to move my head. And as the muscles at your cervical spine are responsible for head movements, they will work and the mu their muscle fibers will slide under the head of the trigger fairy, which is pressurizing them. And this way we are massaging the muscles. And the movements you want to um, um, execute here uh, is a flexion of your spine, an extension of your spine, a rotation or a lateral flexion. So basically you're doing yes motions, you're doing no motions and you're doing, well, when do you do this? I don't know. You're, you're just bending your, your neck to the side. Okay, and again, you want to inspect the area with pressure from behind and you want to inspect the area with pressure from the side and experiment with those motions. What you then want to do is um, find out in which range of motion um, the points are the most unpleasant, you have the most pain and concentrate your movement on those particular ranges of motion. Which does not mean to maximize your pain. This is not the, the goal here, okay? Never maximize pain. That's absolutely nonsense. Just stick in the areas that are most sensitive. And again, start out slow, as I said a couple of um, minutes earlier. That's quite important. Okay, we are done for now with the uh, massage with the trigger fairy. Please stick with me. We have uh, one more muscle left to check out for our stiff neck relief. Please stick with me, even if it's long. I know, but you won't be disappointed. We are going to massage now our upper trapezius muscle and we will do it with our thumb and our index finger. Okay, the massage fairy is gone. We don't need it for this muscle. Um, I will show you now how to massage the upper trapezius. The upper trapezius runs also at your cervical spine and you can grab it if you just take your thumb and your index finger and try to grab that little muscle roll that runs here on your um, upper neck. And in the back part of your neck, there's only one muscle that you can um, grab with your fingers and this is your trapezius muscle. Please don't get frustrated if you don't find it immediately because um, if your muscles are quite tight in your neck, um, it's very, very close to your cervical spine and it doesn't like it if you pull it. So it resists the pull and it's quite hard to really pull it away and to differentiate it. Um, but with time you will be able to do it. So just be patient and practice a little bit. And um, then it's the same story here. You grab the muscle, and then you roll it between your fingers and search for tender points. And as soon as you find a tender point, I hope you can see that, um, then you roll the muscle between your fingers with little rolling motions. Or what also, of course, works great is you exert the press and move technique. Okay, so um, this is uh, yeah, how you do it with the upper trapezius. Um, one tip for the trapezius or in general with the massage of thumb and index finger, don't pressurize a muscle, muscle like this, but do it with your fingertips. This way you have um, the massage pressure concentrated on a smaller area 
and um, you have a way precise massage and this leads to better results. Um, the upper trapezius, you can massage it quite good with the um, hand of the same side until you are in the area and the, the, the middle of your neck. And then I recommend using the opposite hand once you um, start getting into the little bit thicker areas, which you can see here from the um, upper trapezius, where it's already starting to transition into um, the mid part of the trapezius. So in this area also um, use the thumb and the index finger for massaging it, search with the fingertips for tender points, roll them between your fingers, or in this case here, you can uh, move your shoulder a little bit, you know, you draw circles, elevate it, depress it, and this way you can massage the upper two pieces quite good. Okay, hey, I thank you a lot that you stick with me until now in this video, and I really think you um, got some very valuable information on how to relieve the stiff neck. I'm quite interested if this video helped you. If so, please subscribe to my channel, leave a comment below in the video, and I hope I see you in one of my other videos, and also check out my website, panotopia.com, because there you will find a lot of information on all the masters that I explained here. You will find more massage videos, you will find more exercises, etc., etc. Okay, I hope I see you very soon again, and I say goodbye.